Alright guys, so uh, I'm going to do a short tutorial on how to do the two-handed gun slash R1 move swap technique. Alright, so the inputs are going to be as follows. First, you're going to want to press right on the D-pad, um, aka toggling your weapon. The next thing you're going to want to do is a slight walk forward. Um, then after that, you're going to press right on the D-pad once more, and then after that, you're going to press L1. So, it's kind of hard to describe the timing. Um, I'm going to do an example of myself doing the technique a couple times after this to kind of show how it looks like. And I'm going to put my controller up to the mic to kind of give a little example of the rhythm at which you're supposed to press the buttons. Um, but the best way that I could describe just through words how to do the technique is after you do the first D-pad press, you're going to want to wait about half a second. Um, I've heard it described as when your character is about to put their weapon down to their side um, before you do the forward movement. This window is pretty generous. It is not a very restrictive timing on this part. Um, the hard or like the precise part is once you do the forward movement the second right d-pad press and the l1 have to be pretty precise and you're gonna want to the forward movement is gonna is gonna want to be the tiniest amount of forward movement that you can do like it's just gonna be like a little flick on the stick and i would say that the timing for the right d-pad press is probably on the next possible frame after you do the forward movement and then the L1 press is going to be the next possible frame after the right d-pad press so it's going to be like forward movement right d-pad press L1 all on consecutive frames Um, so it's really tricky to understand how to do it. So I've got a couple notes on the timing and the execution required is as follows. You want to kind of flick the stick. Um, it's hard to describe, but what I do is from the bottom of the stick, as in like my thumb is kind of touching the bottom of like the stick rim, you want to flick that. Like you don't want to like start from the middle of the stick or the top. You want to start from the bottom and you want to do a little flick like that. Um, so when you do the technique and you notice your character kind of freezing and kind of waving their hands, like waving their arms around, that means that you're not pressing L1 fast enough. If you transform it, like you do a two-handed transform, to the two-handed weapon that you're trying to get the glitch on, um, it means you're pressing L1 too slow. If you're transforming to the one-handed weapon that you have out, it means that you're pressing L1 too fast, or you're doing a wrong timing on the, the stick flick part, the forward movement. Um, and if you're toggling with no transform, like you're just toggling and that's it, it also means that you're doing a wrong timing on the uh, the forward movement and for the highest success rate I find that if you do the forward movement for the shortest possible length of time like you flick the stick the smallest amount that you possibly can I find that that's how I get the highest success rate on this technique so the R1 move swap is essentially the same exact input but instead of pressing L1 you're gonna press R1 um, and it's going to look like this, and it's going to be pretty much the exact same time. Um, and if you want to do a continuation, it's pretty much like Dark Souls 3 move swap, where you walk forward one step, 
and you just press R1 and you just keep doing that and repeating that, walking forward one step and pressing R1 until you exhaust your stamina.